Nick Brower and Tune C. Han came to this year's All England Championships as an unseeded pair. Never previously beyond the second rounds, never previously beyond the quarter final of a Premier Super Series event. But they've rewritten their own record book because today they're in the All England final. And let's give it up for their opponents, the number four seeds from Japan! Hiroyuki Endo, Akanichi Hayatawa! The number four seeds from Japan, Kenichi Hayatawa and Hiroyuki Endo. to create history today, never before has any Japanese man won the All England title. Japanese players have won the women's singles and the women's doubles, but never has a man from Japan lifted the All England trophy. Seeds, highest uh, seeds left in the tournament uh, by a quarter final stage. Uh, number one seeds departed in the second round, number three seeds in the first round, and of course, the number two seeds in the second round as well. Seven different nations represented in the men's doubles at quarter final stage. And as far as Kenichi Hawaka is concerned, the 26-year-old has turned 27 next month. And his partner, Hiroyuki Endo, who comes from Saitama in the suburbs of Tokyo. This, without question, the biggest match of their lives. Their win-loss record for the year. Two quarterfinals and a second-round loss so far before this tournament. What an improvement. Has been. I was talking earlier in the week is about the fact they hadn't lived up to their seeding position in their three previous tournaments this year. They've more than lived up to their seeding position this year, but as you can see, they've struggled to achieve it. Their first three matches all went the full distance. And then against John Jett and Pua Punch of Thailand, the brand new Thailand pair. Match in the semi final yesterday. They won two straight games. So the left handed uh, Liu Xiao, 24 year old from Fujian province, and Chu Si Han, 22 from Shandong. Number 12 in the world rankings, they're up three places uh, since last week to a career high of 12. As you can see, they're winning this record for this year. Pretty impressive, and that includes reaching the final last week in Germany. So two finals in two weeks is pretty impressive. Well, they, like their opponents, have been pushed the full distance in three of their four matches, including having to save four match points in their second round disposal of the number one seeds, Matthias Bow and Karsten Robeson. Ready, players, please. Well, we knew that Liao Xiao Long and Chu Han were in good form by the fact that they reached the final of the German Grand Prix last week. Now, Chu Han, fastest smash so far. 265. I tell you, that's 165. Interesting that we both are. Faster speed for the women and for the men. It's doubles players that hit the list. Followed up by a singles player. So the umpire, Jane Hancock, very experienced umpire from England. Phil Jones, the service judge. Well, 
if you can hear the Chinese fans in a fine voice. Japanese player trying to create history, trying to become Ladies the first men ever to win. This is the Young X All title. England Open Buffalo Championships men's doubles final. Between, on my right, Lu Xiaolong, Hu Zihan, China. <laughs> Hiroyuki Enzo, Kenichi Haakawa, Japan. <laughs> Who's your hand to serve? To Hiroyuki Endo, love all, play. So the unseeded Chinese pair, far side of the court, Liu Xiaolong and Chu Zihan, up against the number four seeds of... <laughs> This is the third meeting between these two so, so players, and of the previous one, two, honours have been shared last that time they played each other, so it was the Japanese pair that won. But it was a tough old match, it went the full distance. who've been with us earlier in the week, you will have seen Liu Xiaolong and his speed coming forward at the net. Very quick indeed. Oh. Well, actually, I've been a little bit critical of the Japanese pair on a couple of occasions. I thought they'd been a little slow in starting, but one would have thought for today's final, assuming, of course, that nerves doesn't don't play a part, that they'll come out all guns blazing. Well, you'd like to think so, but it's almost been a nature of the way they've played this week. It's almost start nice and steady and progressively work their way into a match. And it has worked. I'm pretty sure they'd like to win in two straight sets. does have a weaker side it's definitely his backhand side he still likes to drive the shuttle hard but I think the other three players in the midcourt are that little bit stronger in that particular area but when seeing how long he's coming down his forehand side there is nobody better in the world to get that back. shame at the end of the rally see how long his string had gone he almost looked to try and dive off the court to get a new one but they played it very cleverly straight back to him it's almost impossible to hit a downward shot with a broken string Courtesy amongst 
the players just allowed to show me out the new racket, test the new racket. Good crowd in here today. And he's down with the third All England Championships. Probably the strongest player in the midcourt. Both sides, forehand or backhand, he really drives incredibly hard. You cannot afford to hit a cross court to open up your partner there. to think that they didn't even qualify for the Olympics last year, this Japanese combination. Ah. Ah. Well, I suspect that if the Japanese pair could bring in a little bit of a variation on the pace. I know they have the capability to do so, more so, I think, than the Chinese pair who just like to play most rallies at 100 miles an hour. Big gap down the middle on the smash. You know, both players are generally a little bit closer together than that normally. Perfect placement. Yeah, the channel attack in doubles used an awful lot, and by that we mean the smash down the centre of the court or in between the two players. Not oh, only does it leave opponents guessing or trying to work out which of the two players should defend the shot, but it also narrows the angle of reply. There's more chance of getting your net player involved and intercepting the return. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, dear, no. That was most definitely a very nervous looking shot. He didn't really get his, his feet in position strangely. He jumped, but then didn't extend his arm up high enough to really snap his wrist into the shot, which would have brought it down much quicker. placement rather than power. Just didn't do with moving forwards to see his body weight slightly shifting backwards. If it had just stepped forward with the racket leg, that would have been a really easy block for the winner. I also thought there was a big open court on the cross drive. You had lots of options, but if you don't move your feet in this game, you will make mistakes. Throughout the whole rally, the attack was aimed at him constantly. He managed to keep 
changing position constantly to get them back, setting up his partner, and that really came down incredibly hard. 260. Just warming up. He's got a big smash as well. And it's a five-point advantage to the unseeded Chinese pair here at the mid-game interval. Jumped in the air from Liu Xiaoling. Lovely athletic, dynamic play. Mixed doubles champion, of course, twice Olympic mixed doubles champion. Oh, this is such a huge occasion for Japanese badminton. Won the women's singles title at the All England in the past. They've won the women's doubles. But We've had a finalist in oh. the men's singles just three oh. years ago with Kenichi Targo. But if they could win the men's doubles, oh my goodness, that would be an achievement. I have to say, I think a huge part of that has been the arrival six years ago when Park Jubon, former World and Olympic champion, represented Korea, but now he's coaching in Japan and he has made a colossal difference. side that normally goes forwards wonderful anticipation it was first of all on the defense and then that's how to turn defense into attack The Japanese would have in a few more blocks. Maybe go over the top of Siao Long when he's coming forwards. That's what we've seen so far this week. They're not afraid to lift the struggles high and long and work their opponents. New racket tested and approved. the left-hander that's what he's wanting well the obvious choice is if you go over the top of sea allen as he's coming running forward the cross block is on because he is always looking to rotate out and there is a big gap in front of him many of those it was a fantastic cross-court drive from Zihan setting up his partner no 
notice that Hayakawa was waited, committed to his backhand defence. Did it there on his forehand side. to wonder why are they trying to play it cross court to the left hander <laughs> good flick serve was broken down. 16, 11. All set up by a wonderful flick serve, really deceptive. First of all, the short lift, and, and he's coming down with that kind of power, and look how steep it's going as well. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's the fastest of the tournament so far. That's 168 miles per hour. Goodness me. Japanese to deal with at the moment. The Japanese are insistent on still going flat and hard right from the beginning of the rally. Endo in particular always looking to draw very, very firm. He needs to learn to block the shuttle across away from the opponents. talking tactics their opponents just two points away from this opening game so just one point for the card 20 game points 
Those are only six straight points. So well, simply can't afford that in all England finals. Seven straight points for Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan. First game won by Liu Xiaolong, Chu Sihan, 21-11. Umpire confirming the score of 21-11. 19 minutes and the Japanese pair have got to up their game if they want to send this the full distance. <laughs> Well, the Japanese coach, Ryomi Manaki, having problems, it seems, with his players to keep the harmony. You will know this is the best opportunity they ever have of an All England title. Well, a lot of contrast between the two coaches in that two minute timeout. Chinese coaches looking very confident, very buoyant. There's Zhang Jun on the right and player Chai Diao on the left. And that to me is absolutely fascinating. But they're really one of the players who are very much hoping will take on these top players in the world imminently. Whereas this man, Ryoni Maniki, seemed to have real problems keeping both of his men together and keeping the harmony. See how long has a wonderful low serve, Joe. You know, he takes the limit to how high he can strike the shuttle on his waist. And the shuttle is going so flat across this net cord. The Japanese are struggling with that. too despondent yet because of course two of their previous matches they have dropped the opening game before coming back to win we know we, they've got the capability but whether they've got the nerve given the big match situation remains to be seen the defense For the Japanese, that Liu Xiaolong, his confidence has just gone up another level altogether. Started playing cross court blocks, cross court net shots. Play. Brilliant rotation from both players. One goes in, one goes out. It's a channeled attack, like we spoke about before. When you channel attack, you know probably 70% of the time where your opponent is going to place that shuttle.
a lovely smash. That's good from Endo, thinking about difference of attack, not just going down the middle, but varying it sometimes backhand, sometimes to the hip. Still like to see the other one to the tram lines as well. from the umpire. Oh, no, that caught the line. Good call, line judge. their spirits there's the president of Yonex company nearest to us Ben Yonyama company of course formed by his father and of course the Yonex All England this year celebrating 30 consecutive years of Yonex sponsorship sponsorships in world sport that was a really interesting start for a rally Long really does have an incredibly tight serve and the Japanese can't get on it. Endo on that occasion just decided to let the shuttle drop and lifted it very accurately into the corner. Maybe that is a good way to approach the game. Counter-attack. Japanese back because they could close the deficit to just two points and all of a sudden psychologically just two points in it. There's more of a belief. Still doesn't seem very comfortable to me. You know, we've seen him throughout the week. His defence has been impeccable. Hey! He's not moving his feet as much as he normally does. And with the pressure put on from the power play and the rotation from the Chinese, he just cannot cope. Suspect. Definitely try and at least match Seal along coming forwards. You know, perhaps you're not going to be quicker because I don't think there is anybody quicker in the world, but you've at least got to take him on in those areas and get there earlier than he can. Support of teammates. think you can hit the shuttle down at him his flexibility in his hips like we just saw there he can get down to it he stays very low he can drive the shuttle back and he still has that power to push forwards and take his opponent on at the net opponent's net shot and play it as tight as that is quite brilliant <laughs> to 
shot with broken strings. Yeah, the little block to the next, the strings have all gone. Japanese pair to try and turn this match around because obviously one game down they're down in the second game you know obviously we've talked about the fact they're probably nervous they don't seem to be quite gelling in the same way do you give them some specific tactic to implement or do you just try and encourage them I think the encouragement massively you can tell both are still even now quite nervous you know they see this match running away from them I'd just be trying to encourage them to move their feet that bit quicker. You know, relax that little bit more. I'd be saying to them, you know, do some fast feet, you know, sprint on the spot in between points to get the legs moving. Because that seems to be the difference. They're not stepping forward as much as we've seen them throughout the week. And even on defence, quite static. Of course, I think the Chinese will also get a little bit nervous the closer they get towards winning this match. So there is time for the Japanese, but they're going to have to make it happen very quickly. was impeccable. They just can't do anything wrong at the moment, Joe. Every shot is going incredibly close to lines with great power and the movement from the Chinese. Oh. It's so it's over awesome. eight, Thank 
the same one. 68. I still can't quite believe that they continue to drive it at him. You know, he's proved so many times in this match, doesn't matter whether it's coming down at him or whether it's coming up at him, he can deal with every situation. Got to play it in a different area. should be a definite change of tactics to me. They are playing too much flat, the Japanese pair. I think they should be trying to slow it down. And at the moment, they're just persisting with their same style of play. Yeah, we have seen earlier in the week that they did start to go over into corners, like you say, slow the game down a little bit. But my point earlier was that they're not moving at all. And if you want to play that game of going over the top and using the cross blocks, their feet need to be moving. Because without that, the Chinese will be so quick onto those shots. But they can say they have to change the tactics and they have to move the feet in order to do it. Four years since China won this men's doubles title. Only four points required. So it's over. And a very new Nine, pair. Seventeen. To this trophy. Oh. 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 So it's over. Eighteen. Nine. Absolutely perfect match, the Chinese. I and mean, the technique to play that net shot. His leg was moving forwards, caressing the shuttle rather than trying to hit it too hard. Everything is just going right. Amazing to think they started the week, started the championship, ranked 15 in the world, only the third ranked Chinese pair. And here they are, just two points away from the title. second round and they have just got better and better as the tournament has progressed. 21-11, 21-9, the moment of victory and China celebrates once more. The realisation 
of what they've achieved. Here we see how long collapses to the floor. Can hardly believe it. What a wonderful performance. But, of course, the title is theirs. Endo and Harakawa beaten, beaten convincingly. Japanese man to win an All England title continues. So let's have a word with our champions then, uh, Liu Chaolong and Kyu Xian. What a great match, what a great final. Rachel, if you could have a word with our boys, a word on the opponents. You guys played very well today. Um, can you say your opponent? The Japanese team. I think... The Japanese team played very well today. Because we played two teams before. We played two teams. 感觉每次都是不相上下，但是这次我们在细节上做的做的比他们好吧，所以我们会胜出。Okay. Um, the Japanese team play very well as well, and um, um, but we did uh, much on the details and um, play every shot uh, the best. They certainly did that. Unseeded this week, chaps. Uh, is this the start of a great new partnership? I know you are Let's hear it for our men's doubles champions, Liu Chaolong and Kyu Xian. Absolutely tremendous performance. Their first ever Super Series title in their first ever Super Series final. What a way to start your Super Series career. So ladies and gentlemen, to make the presentations for the men's doubles final here at the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships, please welcome Francis Lowe, the Managing Director of OSIM UK, and Ben Yoniyama, President of Yonex. And before we celebrate our athletes, let's mark the contribution of our officials in that final, our umpire Jane Hancock, and our service judge Phil James, both from England. Receiving their commemorative medals from Ben Yoniyama. Ladies and gentlemen, the runners up in the men's doubles final from Japan. Please welcome Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Ayakawa. Obviously, because of the support of Kenichi Hayakawa and Hiroyuki Endo. 
unable to produce Brothers. their best oh, badminton nice. today in the final. Perhaps nerves getting the best of them. Playing the Super Series tournament final. and also in the final the Super Series finals.